Hello and welcome to the channel, this is Machine Dana and today we're going to be going into a video a little bit more on how you can set up timers on your stream. Uh, this is for using CloudBot uh, from Streamlabs Online. CloudBot's a really, really good uh, function to be able to control a load of different aspects on your stream, enhance the experience for your users, and of course, to enable certain new functions and interactivity. I've done loads of videos on Streamlabs, the modules, uh, tutorials, and guidance videos. Uh, but of course, uh, if you've ever got any suggestions on what else you'd like more information on, uh, or tutorials on please do let me know in the comments i'm going to be showing you exactly how you can set up timers some suggestions on how you can use them on your channel uh, how you can edit them remove them uh, timers they're just really really good to have on your channel to remind people to do certain things remind people how to do certain things and just to generally give certain bits of key information that key information can be information that's for the duration of your streaming career so to speak uh, or information that is like one-time information you might be for example doing a 24-hour stream so you might set up a temporary timer to tell people about that 24-hour uh, stream if you find this video useful, please feel free to drop a little like below. It does help other people to find the video. Also, feel free to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of these types of videos. I do release videos like this very regularly on a weekly basis. Also, if you're keen to see how any of these things operate in a live environment, please feel free to jump over to twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. I stream on most days. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, to set up timers, firstly, what you'll need to do is to log into streamlabs.com and set up an account here. You can set up an account by linking your Twitch or your Facebook gaming or your YouTube gaming credentials. Uh, so there's no extra detail that you need to really provide there. Um, what you do need to do to enable CloudBot is to click on CloudBot on the left hand side here. You then need to enable CloudBot by toggling this on. Uh, from there, you need to forward slash mod space Streamlabs in your chat, be that Facebook, Twitch, uh, or, or YouTube. That will then mod uh, CloudBot to your channel and enable it to function properly. We're today concerned with timers. So timers are bits of information that can be returned in chat uh, that you define. Uh, you define how frequently they are returned and also certain conditions that enable them to be returned. For example, cooldown conditions, or you may want minimum numbers of messages. Uh, to have been chatted before that actually gets brought into chat. Timers can increase the interactivity on your channel. It can remind people of really key information uh, or it's just a really good way of you being able to thank users or remind them to do certain things. First of all, you're able to edit existing commands that you may or may not have here by clicking the pencil button uh, or you can throw away any commands using the bin button here. You can also toggle off commands so you can keep them here but turn them off uh, with the toggle here. What we see here, we've got the interval. So the, the interval is the value in minutes of how frequently the timer will trigger. Then you've got the line minimum. The line minimum is the number of chat messages that you want to occur in chat before you allow this timer to actually trigger. It's more of a practical limitation for the timer uh, as you may want that option. To add a timer, you simply click on the top right here, give the, the timer a name, a timer name. Then you can give it, give the chat response here uh, so this is the information that you want to be turned into the chat when the timer triggers whatever that might be <laughs> then you set the interval so i'm going to say for example i want this particular timer to be uh, every 10 minutes but I, w I don't want it to trigger unless there have been at least 20 lines of chat so minimum amount of chat lines in the last five minutes required to activate the timer we can just save that. That is now saved as a new timer. So every every 10 minutes, this timer will respond, providing there have been 20 lines of chat in the last five minutes. So that's literally it for timers. You can add them by doing all of those things. We can bin them by clicking this button. What I'll now do is I'll just run through some of my own timers to give you a flavor of how I use those. It might give you some good ideas, but also if you've got any good ideas, please, share them to me and I'd be interested to know how you're using them in your own particular chat. Also, again, you can pop over to my Twitch to check out how I use these as well. So first I've got one which is follow Twitch. Uh, this particular one here is thanking someone for watching or lurking or listening and chatting uh, and just literally just saying, um, you know, you might want to kind of follow me. Social media, uh, this just runs through what my social me main social media channels are. Um, 
people can ask for these specifically using commands, but also uh, there's a time here which is just naturally prompts people to go and follow you on the various channels. You little clipper, I use this as a reminder to people to clip things on the channel. So any funny moments in the channel or whatever, but this is just a reminder to all to say, look, uh, give it a decent title because some people make clips and don't give titles, makes the clips a little bit less useful. One thing you may notice here is I've used different intervals for different timers. Uh, basically, the more important the timer, I've made it more frequent, and the less important the timer, the less frequent I've made it. You've got to really sort of get the balance right here between having too many timers and it just getting annoying for chat users, uh, and having not enough timers and actually they're not getting the information that they may want to see. Uh, stream quality suggests I've got one here that basically says to people, if you see something weird about the, the stream, please do let me know. I've got a media sharing one, which is information about media sharing, uh, free media sharing and then also the paid media sharing as well on my, uh, so premium media sharing. I do have a video about media sharing, so feel free to browse my Streamlabs tutorial videos if you're interested to set up media sharing. I've got a reminder to sub as well, so this just uh, basically tells people that I wanna provide the best value on Twitch and, and uh, some information about that. Uh, thanks for subbing if you do. Uh, if you don't, then just being a follower is decent AF. <laughs> Girthcart. Girthcart's the name of my loyalty point system. And again, I've done a video tutorial on how to set up loyalty points. This just really shows where a user can check what they can purchase with my loyalty points uh, visiting my Streamlabs Prime website. If you want a discount on Streamlabs Prime, by all means, please use my referral code. You will get money off by using that if you do choose to buy Streamlabs Prime. Alt F4, this is just a silly thing I've got. Uh, remember to use command Alt F4 if you're not enjoying the stream. This will end your misery abruptly. <laughs> Prime reminder, so this is a reminder for people to use their Prime, even if it's not with me. People should be using their Prime. It's a free thing that they get to do on Twitch if they do have Prime. So everyone should be using their Prime uh, subscriptions every single month if they're on Twitch. Uh, gamble reminder. So these are just different ways that people can use the girth cart, that in my case, my loyalty point system. Uh, it's just a reminder of what the commands actually are and what's active on my channel. Uh, and I've got another timer, which is just a sort of a, uh, me tipping my hat to my first 100 followers. Um, and this is uh, just an image that I've got of the names of the first 100 followers on my channel. Uh, this is me saying thanks so much for my first 100 followers. Much girthy love from Machine Dana. You can use these in loads of different ways. Um, I'll probably add to these, the timers, as I go along. Uh, and I'll be very interested to see how you guys use timers on your channels. Okay, hopefully you found this really, really useful. If you've got any good ideas, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you soon. Take it easy.